Jack, thanks for joining us. Back from your loan spell at Hampton Richmond Borough early. How did you find your time out alone? Yeah, no, it was, it was a very good experience to get used to men's football and different styles of play and how to adapt to physical demands of the game, like tackles, headers. That's what I think I needed to work on mainly in my game. You obviously had a little taste of this season in the first team. How much of a difference is there between first team games and there was the Czech Trade Trophy and going into the Conference South? Um, the Conference South was more like there's a different environment, different fans, different players, more tackles. Like, I think you can bring more of a technical game to football here. And more of that, more of that stuff here. And playing in games where people, you know, livelihoods are on the line, people want to yeah. win, supporters are kind of cheering you on. How, how do you enjoy that aspect? Yeah, I know it's like every week you fight for three points. So you've got to do it for the fans and like the players themselves. What did, uh, what did Harry say before you went away? He had a good spell there last year, didn't he? Yeah, he said all the boys are nice, you'll enjoy it there and they'll love you. Yeah, and Jamal as well, obviously they're doing very well. Yeah. He, he would have been around at a similar time to you, wouldn't it? Or crossed over with you? Yeah, I, I don't think I got to play with him because he was a year above when I was breaking through to the youth team, but no, I knew he was a good player. And coming back to Barnet now, obviously everything has changed. How have these first couple of sessions back been? Yeah, they've been good. A bit more like used to them dealing with Emery and from the youth team, Emery and Rossi taking it. No, I'm looking forward to it. Working with Henry and Rossi, as you say, obviously work with them in the youth team. What are they like as coaches? How do you find their, their style? Yeah, they're very good. They, um, they look at the technical sides of the game very well but also the physical stuff that obviously needs to be in football. So no, I think they'll do a good job. And looking forward now, Yeovil this weekend. I imagine for you in the short term, the, the aim is getting get the squads for the first team now. Yeah, I'm going to try and try my hardest to break through and obviously because it's still playing for Barnum. And what's the kind of long-term aim for you between now and the end of the season? Are you someone who sort of looks at numbers of games you want to try and get involved in or do you just take it all as it comes? Yeah, I want to cement around 10 appearances for the first day in the league. Try and get a couple of goals there and there. And then, yeah, push off from there. And looking at obviously injured at the moment, but what Harry's done, it shows that you know the opportunities are there for you young guys now, doesn't it? Yeah, yeah. A couple of us have started to feel like we're going to break through and maybe take our chances. Fantastic. Thank you very much, Jack. Thanks.